You cannot come back from that. It's just fucking impossible. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pull a proverbial pipe bomb and go Joey Styles all over Kevin Johnson's ass. Of course, you know who Kevin Johnson is. If you look at his Wikipedia, he's the current CEO of Starbucks, a satanic company who is in cahoots with you know who, and I'll get to that a little bit later. As for right now, we go live with Kevin Anderson for his chillest pipe bomb ever. Take it away, Kevin. Seriously, though, you're going to need to be very chill about it because you don't want to piss the people at Twitter off. Seriously. Oh, I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. We know that you've been the CEO of the Bavarian Illuminati counterpart known as Starbucks Coffee since April the 3rd, 2017. We know that you're in league with Satan. We know that you're in league with the deep state. We know that you're in cahoots with democracy and socialism and Nazis like George Soros. Oh, by the way, by the way, we're not I'm not trying to be mean to you or anything, sir, but I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking on behalf of the hundreds upon hundreds of millions of people who willingly buy your company's product, running the risk of cancer every single time they taste a cup of it. Seriously. You guys pay no corporation tax. You are secretly worshippers of Satan and members of Bohemian Grove. And I would like to say personally, on behalf of the hundreds and hundreds of millions of people who buy into your product or have bought into your product over the years, that if you cannot pull a Wizard of Oz on us and at least try to be honest with us and tell us everything that we've known about your company this whole time that you are in fact in league with Satan and Adam Weishaupt and the Bavarian Illuminati and Bohemian Grove and fascism and dictatorships and terrorism and democracy and the deep state like we've known all along then we will continue to expose you for the fraud that your company is. Okay? And we're just being real with you. Not that it matters or anything, but still, I mean, damn, bruh. Do you see all these black people that, that are protesting on the street? You got too little, too latte. Enough, no more. You know, shame on you, Starbucks. You know, all these signs out there that these people themselves wrote. They didn't get paid to write this stuff. They, I mean, seriously, man, you gotta understand. You gotta understand. Unless you've been living under a rock your entire life, you would know that Starbucks is a subdivision of Weishaupt's Illuminati. And and I know that you may already know this, and I know that you're probably selectively retarded enough to choose not to know this because you just don't give a fuck, but, buddy, 
I'm speaking on behalf of the people. Because they need to know this shit a hell of a lot more than I do. I already know about this, and you do too. But unlike you, I actually realize this shit. I know exactly what Starbucks is about. They are a subdivision of the Illuminati. And you need to start confessing that, sir. Because, you know, Kevin Johnson... I used to respect you as a human being. Now I just feel sorry for you. Because you've allowed yourself to become the poster boy of the Adam Weishaupt of coffee, which is Starbucks. I believe I mentioned that on a Twitter post not too long ago as of this recording. And believe me. If you were to see the truth behind that, you'd go full-on scorched earth about it, and you wouldn't accept it to save your life, even if your freaking family depended on it. Unlike another family who one of your ancestors and a friend of George Soros is killed during World War II during the Jewish Holocaust. Meanwhile, President Obama, the man who you should be directing your fire upon is the man who created the racial holocaust some seven decades after the events of World War II. And meanwhile, you want to blame Trump for something that Obama did. Buddy, you're a dumbass, okay? You're a dumbass. It's time to fess up. Jesus Christ, the United Nations, was created to become the housing for the Illuminati Great Conspiracy. <clears throat> no! Sorry, not sorry. Sankity sank, sankity sank. Sankity sank, sankity sank. Sankity sank, sankity sank. Sankity sank, sankity sank. Time for another shankity shank act, huh? We're gonna focus on these plays, these three act plays, summed up in three posts in a fucking nutshell. Let's take a look. Seriously, look. seriously, look. look, 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 look. Breaking ABC and Disney do the right thing. There are still boundaries in the age of Trump that cannot be crossed. Thank you for putting values over money. And get this. Any of them mentioned to you that we had a domestic terror attack a week ago and you still won't call it what it was, you cowardly fuck? I mean, these are just a few of the words that, that Keith Olbermann has said to Donald Trump. He, you know, seriously, this guy is a dumbass. Not only is he a dumbass, but he's a retard. Selectively retarded. It's unbelievable how retarded he is. I mean, just, 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 just look. Look at this guy, Keith Olbermann. Oh no! I hate Trump, so I'm gonna bash the shit of him and libel him on Twitter. You didn't realize you were gonna get sued? Fuck you, man. Fuck Keith Olbermann. Fuck him right in his dick. Because that's all he's good for. Oh, by the way, Roseanne was guilty of the same thing, and they canceled her show's reboot. Like that. In a fucking heartbeat. Keith Olbermann does the same thing, knowing good and well that he won't get away with it, and ESPN signs a new deal with him. Are you fucking shitting me? This is bullshit! Well, of course it's bullshit. I mean, then, of course, you'd have to realize that Keith Olbermann is literally full of it. So, yeah, it just makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus! Oh, my God! Look, look at this dumbass. Look at this dumbass. You fucking kidding me? And you call yourself a journalist? Guess what? You ain't no journalist, buddy. You know what you are? A Democratic donkey dick sucker. You suck Bill Clinton's dick. Anyway, 
here's what Mike Cernovich calls a fake news play in 3X. Watch this. Watch this. You're never going to believe it if you don't see it. Okay, so. Okay. Julie Davis makes this bullshit post. It's obviously a shit post because we know what the fuck it is. Absolutely, there's no question. Shut up! Alright. But anyway, she types. Depressing side at Trump rally in Nashville. Adorable young boy, barely by my son's age. Pointing iPhone at me and other reporters. And snapping pigs while screaming, Vegas! A child who will grow up believing a free and fair press is the enemy. A bad thing to be mocked at. <laughs> You fucking kidding me? What a joke. I mean, it is just fucking shit. Man, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And then Donald Trump. My man and our president. He may not be your president, but he sure as hell is mine. Makes this perfect remark. Listen to this. Listen to this. The failing and corrupt New York Times estimated the crowd last night at 1,000 people, when in fact it was many times that number, many times over, and the arena was rocking. This is the way they demean and disparage. They are very dishonest people who don't get me, and never did, and they never will either, because they'd be in jail. Oh! savage level goodness right here man thank god for people like real donald trump and and then julia tries to come with a bullshit reply president real donald trump is correct about his crowd last night my estimate was way off and we have corrected our story to reflect the fire marshal's estimate of 5,500 people. When we get it wrong, we say so. Um, bullshit. When you get it wrong, you stick to the bullshit and you don't change it unless you're forced to by someone who actually knows the truth. Fuck off the Mexico and go suck the president of Mexico's dick, man. Do us all a favor, okay? Piss off. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. The Illuminati Great Conspiracy. Cybersum. All point. Happy. Oh. <laughs> There's, there's nothing I can say that can justify the fucking cringe and comedy that is this picture of, of this guy. Look at how he is. I don't even care about it. And, and, and we all know what they are, so just fuck it. Oh! Is that? No! You didn't! Oh! <laughs> Like 
I'm not even trying to, to, to kiss anybody's ass. I'm dead serious when I say this. This is, this is so, so bad that it's so good at the same time. You might even consider it a modern art masterpiece. Just like Arlie Ermey would say. You know? It, it really is that good. Seriously. Oh! Oh my god! My eyes! Ah, my eyes! There's a cross on his cheek. Why the hell he has a cross on his cheek? Oh, is this the next to I don't know. This is the I ain't gonna make cheat of it. I can tell you right now, as long as I'm a man, that is totally fucking great, man. Like something you see out of a museum. Oh my god! That's just me. Yeah, you got that right. Hey, I, I just wanna know one question. Yeah. What the hell is that? Those are the <laughs> You call those jeans? I'm worn better jeans or I'm like Doc's neck! I'm not getting judged. Look, look, this is totally good. This, this rocks. This rocks with so much epic awesomeness. Such win. You sure got that right. Okay, can we, can we go to the next one now? Boy, say, that would be great to have Let's go to the next one now. Oh, look! Whoa! Holy fuck shit! Oh. I can't even... What is this? God, how, how bad has he aged just based on this heroin? What the fucking oh. oh my god. <laughs> and, and then he has his name below the tree? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was Totally agree, man. Yeah. Don't do that. Why are you doing this one? Seriously. Let's just... Because, because, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just push the envelope a bit further and see what's in this last tab here. What we do? Go for it. I'll say go for man. You ain't got nothing. Yeah! Yeah, man. on his face, he's like, what the hell am I doing here? Seriously. You don't do right. Like, because I don't know what he's doing here either. Is, is that a... Is that a mole? Yes, that is a mole. Oh, no! <laughs> Damn, old boy, Bobby, why are you doing like that? Oh, my God. 
my God! Just... But anyway, as they always say... FUCKING And this just in, coming from Fox News. Millennial, 30 years old, evicted from parents' home, paid for car storage, but balked at child support, according to some records that were clearly shown. And yet losers like him, who never worked one honest MINUTE in their lives, and got handed LIFE ON A GOLDEN PLATTER OF SILVER MIRTH, will be more likely to get picked up by CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, Netflix, or Facebook than anybody else. Funny irony is FUNNY! <laughs> And this is why we still have abortion, in case you're wondering. Thanks! This just in from my friend Ralph on Twitter 19 hours ago, responding to a bunch of dumbass libtards. Rejected by America! Hollywood celebrities shilled for Hillary. The entire mainstream media shilled for Hillary. Multinational banks supported Hillary. Mega corporations supported Hillary. The advertising industry supported Hillary. The military-industrial complex supported Hillary. She spent millions to hire social media promoters. Muslim nations gave Hillary millions. The internet companies supported Hillary. George Soros supported Hillary. The FBI and the DOJ conspired to help Hillary. The DNC rigged the primaries for Hillary. Never Trump supported Hillary. Black Lives Matter supported Hillary. Feminists supported Hillary. The GOP establishment supported Hillary. Leaders of foreign nations supported Hillary. Bernie Sanders shilled for Hillary. President Obama shilled for Hillary. All of the living former presidents supported Hillary. Her serious health problems were covered up, including the fact that she was wearing a catheter, and yet she wanted to hide the fact. People were murdered on Hillary's behalf. They rigged the debates for Hillary. They used voter fraud to help Hillary. The polls were always in Hillary's favor. She spent 500000 a day on advertisements. Hillary spent over 1.3 billion, with a B, on her campaign. Everyone expected Hillary to win. Newsweek printed a special victory issue for Hillary. She threatened electoral college voters. Many states were forced to do a recount. And she still fucking lost. Ladies and gentlemen, Hillary Clinton, the face of failure. Thanks a lot for that, Super Smash Brothers Melee announcer. We here needed that. Absolutely, I mean, there's just no question. Yes! Before I end this episode of Talking with Enemies, I personally would like to thank the 300. Twitter followers who find my content to be interesting enough to require a follow. I would like to thank all 300 of you Twitterists who have followed me and who understand the importance of silencing the blue wave that is selective retardation, also known as liberalism. I cannot stress enough how important this is because you all too much to me not to consider. So thank you all to the 300 followers on Twitter who find my content to be interesting. And thank you all for helping me get this far. By the way, this episode of Talking to Myself News is sponsored by more charitable who remind you to see how we are leading land, habitat, and water conservation every single day. 
foot. It can follow him. And it's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Thanks, you. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid predominantly by suckers like you. Thank you very much. Bless you all. Have a blessed rest of your lives. And we hope to see you again next time. And in the meantime, we ask sincerely that you fuck bu- your troubles. Come on, get happy. Let you wash your sins away. Mm, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Have a blessed day or night, depending on where in the world you come from. I, I don't care. <laughs> Remember, if you want my permission to download this video, message me on any of my social media channels and ask for it, and I'll give you my IK. And above all else, don't be a jackass. Please, be real. Don't steal.